Hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, tell me if you listen. Me dicen si me escuchan. Um, Kenya, yes, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. That's wonderful. Well, um, and so, how was your day, Kenya? How is it going? Cansadita, pero tired. Yes, I can imagine you are very tired. Yes, it's. Are you having vacations? Eh, hasta el miércoles. Salimos. Okay. Oh, okay. Días nos toca descansar. Mm -hmm. Okay. I understand that. Yes, yeah, sometimes it happens. So, well, let's listen to the others. Thank you, Kenya. Raquel, hello. Rachel. Mm, estás modo serio y congelada. So, no problem. Um, Mardo, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? Ay, hard, hard, hard day. Hard day. Okay. Yeah. Can you... <laughs> Hasta suspira. Bien dramático este Mardo. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we have like very complicated days. Okay. Nice. Let's listen to Luis. Hello, Luis. Hello, teacher. How is it going? A uh, little tired. Tired. That's pretty good. Okay, nice. That's the attitude. I like to hear that. Uh, Carito, hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How do you feel? On the top of the world. Oh, really nice. extremely tired, but pretty good. <laughs> okay. Okay, nice. Yeah, you put a smile on your face. That's good. Yeah, that's the attitude, nice. But you look very fancy. Are you going out after class? No? Yeah? No, teacher. No, I don't go. No, no. Okay. Okay, I hope you can do it next week. Are you having vacations, Carito? Yes. I, from, from Wednesday to, to Saturday. Saturday. Sunday, ah, yeah. Okay, okay. Good. Yeah. Nice, Carito. Very nice. I'd like to hear that. Okay, uh, Raquel, hello again. How are you? Hello. Hello. I'm very. Very what? Tired. Cansada. Ah, uh, very tired. Mm -hmm. Tired. Oh, yes. you are very tired. I I I understand you. And I'm, I'm so tired. Estoy cansado de la vida. Nah, kidding. No, well, we are we have we are in the middle of the week. So let's do it, okay? Uh we have after this class two more, no two more, sino que dos más, two more classes. Imagine, okay. Then you're going to be free. You can go out and have a lot of beers, and the next day you can go work. Al siguiente día van a trabajar así, de pelados. Okay. But well, um, let's see. Look, class number 18. I like that. Because we are advancing. Vamos avanzando. How to use could for polite and formal requests. Requests se llaman solicitudes. Por eso cuando vamos a los breakout rooms, yo le digo, please accept the request. Acepten la solicitud para vincularse, ¿verdad? Entonces, request es una, son esas palabras que, que no se parecen en español porque solicitud, sí, solicitud en inglés, ah, request. O si quieren eh, solicitar algo, I want to request something in specific, y bla, 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 okay? So that, that's a very formal and important word. Mm -hmm. And could, could, it's, uh, well, it's a word that we have studied before. So that's it. Here we go again. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay. Um, ways to say llamar la atención. Um, you can talk about any book, article, um, movie, series, or maybe in the news, the noticias. You can use uh, different forms to say um, uh, what got my attention was what caught my eye was, what drew my attention was, what struck me was, what stuck out to me was, and you, you can say it, for example, 
um, for instance, we can talk about, let me see, ah, about gasoline prices. Okay, you can say, oh, what caught my eye was that uh, we have like a brief or a short preview of gasoline prices. Así que pueden decir algo que me llamó la atención de las noticias es que va a haber una pequeña reducción. It's just an example, okay? And that's it. What got, got my attention was, what caught, caught my eye was, what drew my attention was, drew, como drew Barrymore, uh, what struck me was, what stuck out to me was, was, Okay, so you can uh, mention some of these phrases and or maybe imagine uh, Wilfredo is, is talking about any topic. Uh, Wilfredo could be giving uh, his opinion and Joa could say, um, well, what got my attention about Wilfredo's opinion was comienzan. Entonces podemos utilizar estas frases. I need to pick one of these phrases and then pronounce it. Please. We start with Carito and Joa. Okay, teacher, what struck me was? Good. Uh, Joa, Steffi. Hello. Mm -hmm. Joa, well, uh, Joa is not ready. Uh, we go with Raquel and then Ellie. What drew my attention was? Very nice. Okay, Ellie, and then we'll go with uh, Wilfredo. What drew my attention was? Nice, very good. Okay, uh, Wilfredo and Mardo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, what drew on to me was? Nice. Mardo and Luis. What drew my attention was. Nice. Luis Adonai. What got my attention was. Okay, good. Um, let's go with Adonai in Kenya. What stuck called me once. Good. Okay, Kenya and Carly. What got my attention was. Nice. Okay, Carly and Joa. My was okay. Good, Joa and uh, Jackie. What caught my eye was? Mm -hmm. Okay, what caught my eye? My eye, come on, the eye of the tiger. Okay, and uh, Jackie, are you there? Well, if not, what got my attention was good, very nice. Okay. So, uh, just a question, uh, Mardo, se me ve tardado el movimiento? Yes, no? Sí, teacher, hubo corte de energía, entonces el wifi no quedó muy bien. No, no, me refiero a, a, mi, a mi computadora, a mi, a mi señal. Ajá, sí, ven como que... No, 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 Confer está no. perfecta. No, yo, no. Mi, mi señal está mal, yo lo veo todo como robot ahorita. Así como... como como película doblada, así que. Exacto. Ah, eh, Eli. Como bajada en cine la película. Sí, sí cabal, se, como... se escucha, se escucha un poquito como sintetizado, como cortado. Ah, oiga, sintetizado, escuché algo que volar, me gustó eso, me gustó. Good. Yes. Ok, eh, bien, espero que mejore todo en nuestras vidas y en el amor. Ok, so this is part of ways to say, llamar la atención. We can use these phrases. Uh, when you're giving your opinion, your point of view. Si se dan cuenta, siempre les doy bastante vocabulario como para que ustedes puedan expresarse ya su, su, bueno, sus ideas propias. And that's something that's very, very priority. Okay. So, let's see here. Um, which character from books or movies would you like to be and why? ¿Qué personaje de la, alguna película o, o, o libro? Or it can be a series, puede ser una serie. ¿Qué le gustaría hacer? And why? Si le gustaría ser como Pedro el Escamoso, I don't know. Okay, if you want to be like a, I don't know, a, a, a character, an interesting character from a book, okay? And so that's it. 
Do we have any volunteers for this? I guess you have like a very curious responses. Carito, hello there. Okay. okay. I would like to be Wonder Woman. I love her costume, her power, her charisma, and she is pretty. Okay, definitely she is. So, uh, which, but which one? Uh, what was the name of the, the, well, the first Gal Wonder Woman? Uh, oh, okay, both, but Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. I really like uh, the, the, I the, love it. the the character that, that she has is like very interesting, intelligent. She has like a, a, a lot of good, good uh, qualities. Yeah. I like it. And she's fashionable. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, okay. perfect. perfect point. Debería de vestirte así, Carito. ¿Qué hay? ¿Ves la empresa? Okay. <laughs> Un día de estos, teacher, salgo en la clase. Wonder Woman. Yeah, pues sí, para tu aniversario. Ok, here we go. Here we have Joa en Mardo. Ok, I would like to be Groot from the Guardian of Galaxy because mm -hmm. this pain have been destroyed, he have a second chance. He always appeared again. He always appears again. He's an adult, he's a baby, he's a teenager. And I, I, it's very interesting when he says, I'm Groot in different forms, but he expresses different uh, what, uh, words and emotions by just saying, I am Groot, right? Yes, I am Groot. Very interesting. Okay, uh, Mardo, you go. Uh, I like to be uh, Kenny Reeves uh, or Clint Eastwood in, in, in movie or Jose Denzel Washington. Oh, yes. Do you have any specific character from a movie? Because they have a lot of good movies. But do you have a special yeah. one? Mm -hmm. um, Hombre en Llamas. Uh, I have a... <laughs> seen that more than it's a photo, but I will. It's from Denzel Washington? Yeah? No. I, I believe. Okay. There is a movie of Denzel that is called John Q. That he has a son with a problem with his heart and he takes over a hospital. El como tiene de renas en un hospital. And he wants that the doctors operate her son, his son. He quiere que, que, que operen a su hijo. Very, very nice movie, okay? But good, good, Mardo, thank you. And any other opinions about this? Because we have seen a lot of movies. Uh, you, I know that you have read books and that's, that's awesome. Yes, Clary, Miss Claribel, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Like Sandra Bullock, oh, because, yes. <laughs> because she is a woman who, this, despite her personal problems, has managed her career and is an excellent actress because she, she has different action, summary, and rom romantic movies. Yes, that, that, that. She has uh, like crime, investigation, romantic, comedy. Uh, yes. Sí, tiene de has... todo un poco y, y es una excelente. Yeah, okay. I like uh, The House of Lake. It's a romantic movie. The Proposal is comedy. Yes. De toda. Pero Miss me encantan las películas de ella. Yes, Miss Congeniality, Miss Simpatía. Ay, sí. That's one of the best ones, yeah. But mainly cierto, the first. Mm -hmm. Por cierto, quiero ir a ver la película que se va a estrenar hoy en abril. Ah, yeah, she, she has a new one. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, yes. She always has a good movie. La, la ciudad perdida. Yes, a ver qué tal. Bueno, Kenya. Very nice. Okay. Well, she, Kenya has plans. Okay, good. Thank you, Kenya. Let's listen to who else. Okay, let's ask to... ¿Qué, Adonai? No le creen a otra que está en clase. 
Okay. Okay. I would like to be the character of Tony Stark from the movie. The Avenger Magnar scientist and with a suit with flying skill. Yes, and he is like a Playboy star, right? Okay. Very interesting character. He is like very sarcastic in comedy, but he's so brilliant, very intelligent. Yes. I guess he, well, uh, Tony Stark is maybe the most interesting character in at least this, uh, the, the first universe that they presented. Yeah. Thank you, Adonai. What about Luis and Carly? Okay, teacher, and uh, like uh, Mel Gibson, actually, oh. I like the filming of the movie, The Passion of the Chris, being very attraction to reality. Yes, uh, he was, uh, that movie was like very shocking, being impactante. Yeah, mm -hmm. very nice movie. And even Mel Gibson's as actor or as a director has very good movies. Uh, the, the Patriot, El Patriota, nice movie. Braveheart, Corazón Valiente, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of movies. Okay, thank you, Luis. Very nice. Okay, uh, okay. Carly, ¿qué pasó? ¿Estás preocupada? Are you worried? Sí, es que esa no la pude hacer, pero más o menos como Wonder Woman. Mujer Maravilla. Wonder. Ah, bueno, entonces aquí tenemos dos Wonder Woman. Las vamos a vestir y vamos a hacer ahí un concurso. Ok. Very nice. okay. Yes. Buenos actores hemos salido, ya veo. No, hombre, sí, ya veo que aquí. Ok, very nice. No, pero me han dicho actor bien interesante. Yes, and very good movies. Uh, actually, I like um, Carter, como se llama la, 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 la primera, the first Wonder Woman. I uh, just remember the last name. Linda Carter. Linda Carter. Yes, I love, I love to see her in the last scene in Wonder Woman 84. Yes. Um, la última, ¿verdad? Que apareció. Uh, she, yes. le, she looks so, so nice. Se ve como que Beautiful. No yeah. Yes. Beautiful woman. Okay. Okay, yes. perfect. And let's see. Good. Ellie, what about you? Okay. Would you like to be? I would you like to be Uren, Sultana of the Ottoman dynasty. Oh, Why? wow. For fitting, cunning, intelligent, for turning the image of woman in those times. Is that a series or a movie from Netflix, right? No. Uh, Uno me gusta, me gusta la historia otomana y dos también sacaron un dorama, un, una como novela, eh, es una novela. Esas novelas turcas que, que son bien famosas. Es no. una novela turca, pero anteriormente ya había leído lo que, lo que es parte de la historia porque me interesa, muy, me gusta mucho lo del sultanato de las mujeres. It's very, it's very y lo inició Urren, lo inició Urren, luego siguió Nurbanu. Eh, Safiye, Kosen. Kosen. Uh, uh -huh, o sea, Honestly, I know very well. I I knew I know like not not so much about it. No conozco mucho, pero es muy interesante. It's like very interesting. They have different costumes, costumbres diferentes. They have different processes and the hierarchy that they have uh, like the respect and the spiritual, the spiritual part they have is like very strong. I like that. Es bien fuerte la espiritualidad de ellos. Sí. Es bastante. Es bonita la historia de ellos. I guess that culture is very extended. Es como bien extensa todo ese tema cultural. Right? Uh, I guess necesitamos aprender un poco más, okay? One of the advantages of the technology that now we can know more about, right? Different cultures, okay? Awesome, awesome. Me un día la ver ya voy a tener tiempo para ver eso. Bueno, una maratón de un día voy. Es mejor la historia. Es mejor la historia. Definitely, definitely. Uh, there are adaptations that they change a lot, right? So you can recommend me some some books, okay? Later.
I have to. Okay, wonderful, my friends. Um, I need to have to check the attendance list. Solo vamos a pasar lista. Ya lo último. So say hello if you are there, Andres. Oh, Andres. Okay. Um, Carlos. Present. Uh, okay, Andres. Uh, Carlos is working, Andres. Carito Suarez. Hello, teacher. Edwin. Eli. Hello, teacher. Uh, Steffi. Hello. Um, Gabriel. I don't know if Gabriel is here. Uh, Jackie. Yes, Jackie. This uh, Patty. No. Patty. Joa. I'm here. Okay. I'm Groot. Then I can see. <laughs> Carly. Eh, regalo dos niños y una sobrina, una prima. O sea. Ok, está regalando. Mentira. Está regalando. Ah, lo está regañando. Te va a llevar el extraño. Eh, Kenia. Hello, teacher. Hi. Luis. Present, teacher. Nice. Mardo. Ok, Oscar. Creo que Present. Ok, good. Raquel. Here. There. Rosie. Uh, does anybody know what happens with Rosie? What is going on with her? My dear. No. No. Did she have a baby or something? Like no. No, I guess she had like problems with, with the, a teeth. Creo que tenía problemas con problemas así. Okay, Walter. Uh, we can see it. Uh, no, Walter White and uh, William. Uh, Marvin Adonai. Present. I think we'll pray. Okay. So that's it. Okay. Let's go to a conversation of wood part two. La conversación de Wood eh, es pues, la parte uno eh, ayer. So, here we have conversation three and four. Let me see. Future. Country. Como la música country. Free dance. Equals. Uh, oh. Sugar. Slow. <clears throat> okay. And here we have conversation three. Where would you like? Would. Este would eh, es como un would. Así, would. Porque el otro, si hacemos un, un good, es como good morning, good afternoon. En cambio, el otro es como good. Como que lleve dos u. Uh, yeah, como que lleve dos cosas. Good. So, um, let's see. Where would you like to live in the future? Future, future. I'd like to live in the country. What would you, uh, what would you do? I'd have a farm. That would be fun. Fun. Es como ser fanático. Pero fun significa, literalmente, fun significa ventilador. Se pronuncia igual. Okay. Yeah, I want to plant my own food. Okay. Mm, ¿Dónde te gustaría vivir en el futuro? Mm, me gustaría vivir en el, en el campo. What would you do? ¿Qué harías? Mm, tendría una... Ya pasado mi palabra. Granja. That would be fun. Eso sería divertido. Yeah, I want to plant my own food. Eh, me gustaría plantar mi propia comida. What would you like to drink? ¿Qué te gustaría beber? I'd... I'd like an iced tea, please. No tenía un té helado. Do you want sugar with that? ¿Quieres azúcar con eso? No, pero I like some lemon. No, pero me gustaría algo. ¿no? Would you like a straw? Straw es pajilla. ¿Te gustaría una pajilla? No, thanks. 
Okay. So future, country, country, fun, no fun, fun, um, ice, sugar, sugar daddy, and straw, straw. Okay. So that's it. Um, maybe Carito can help us by sending uh, this screenshot, please. Okay. Wonderful. So my friends, I'm going to see you in a moment. Okay, let's practice a little bit. So the moment. Okay, see you in a moment. Teacher, teacher. Okay. Hello, te acabo de agregar ahí a un grupo. Dale a aceptar, Carlos. Sí, pero ahorita no, no puedo. Todavía ah, tengo okay. el por eso. Ok, no hay problema, no hay problema. Ok, 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 teacher. gracias. Ok. Ya no puedo, tampoco, teacher. Ok, sí, sí, no, no hay problema. A swing. No thanks. Ok, ahora comienzo yo. La tres. Where yeah. would you like to live in the future? I like to live in the country. I like to live in the country. What good you do? I have a farm. What would you like to drink? I like an ice tea, please. Do you want sugar with with that? Farm. That would be fun. <clears throat> yeah, I want to plant my own food. ¿Qué anda haciendo por allí? Esperaba escuchar algo así como que. De nuevo, así. Ay, pero... No, no. Ya, ya cuido mi, my vocabulary. No. 
sabes que eso es terapéutico. ¿Verdad? Pero... Ok. No, no te quiero ver llorar. No. Salud. Pero mi, psico mi psicólogo no me quiere. ¿Quién es, your... ¿Quién es tu psico? ¿Quién es tu psicólogo? Joana. Joana. No, ella sí quiere, pero yo no quiero. Mm, it's a matter of time. Es en el tiempo. Yes. Yeah. Dice mi hermana que cuando llore lo voy a dejar ir y que yo no lo quiero dejar ir, por eso no quiero llorar. Mm, it's possible. <laughs> I agree. Ya, vamos a llevar un par de técnicas ahí. Para, para llorar. Olvidar. Para olvidar. Right, Carito. Carito conoce. A ver, uno que sea, para empezar. No, para empezar. Sí, porque hay que ir empezando por algo. No, Carito sabe, va, Carito. ¿Qué me busco otro novio? Pues, teacher, no. Yes, could be, maybe. I know. Sí, dice Raquel. Yeah. No, que. Okay. No. Bueno, después seguimos con la terapia. Bye. Okay. Lo intenté, teacher, pero nadie contestó, así que estoy practicando solo. Ok, very nice, no problem. Okay. Let's see. Uh, any volunteers for conversation number three? It's very simple. Está bastante sencillita esta conversación. Okay, Mardo, you go. And your partner is? It's me. It's Groot. Okay. <laughs> Ahead. Okay. Joanna. And Ellie goes for number four. Okay. What would you like to, to drink? Okay, Uy. go. Estoy hablando con mi conciencia, perdón. Dele, Mardo. Okay. What, what, <laughs> would, what would you like to drink? I'd like an ice and tea, please. Do you want sugar with that? No, but... I like some lemon. What would you like a straw? No thanks. Okay, very nice. Uh, very good pronunciation. Solo acá es lemon, como la canción Lemon Tree. No sé si la han escuchado. I recommend it. Really nice. Para aprender, para practicar el inglés, it's good. Lemon Tree. I like it a lot. Okay, um, so Ellie, could you please uh, do conversation three? Okay, me tocó con Tefa. Okay, Tefa, ¿qué se me hizo? ¿Qué pasó, Carly? Tranquila. Okay, uh, ¿qué se hizo, Steffi? ¿Está en ocurrido? ¿Dónde está, Steffi? ¿Where are you? Aquí estoy, aquí, en el bus. ¿En el Malibu? En el bus. Ah, Malin. <risa> ah, ¿Puedes, Steffi? Sí. Okay. Inicio, Steffi. Sí, ok. Ok. Where would you like to live in the future? I like to live in the country. 
What good do you do? I have a farm. That good be found? Yeah, I want to plant my own food. Hmm. My own food, very nice. So future country, pan um, ice, sugar, sugar, and straw. Very nice, thank you. Very good pronunciation. Now let's continue with this. And what do we have here is, um, okay. And uh, let's continue with which character from books or movies would you like to be? Why? Okay. Um, Let's listen to Andres. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, please. And then Raquel. Ah, perdón, pensé que era la conversación anterior. Esa sí. Okay, no problem. Uh, Raquel, what about you? Raquel and then Carly. Ah, no, Carly, ya me dije. Sería. No me he portado bien porque me pone a mí. Ah, ah, la próxima va a ser la primera. No. Sorry. Okay. Te llevan a serenata. Ok, Raquel, please. <laughs> ok. Um, I like to be Vito Corleone. O ah. Marlon Brando. In the Godfather. Godfather. Yes. Okay. Because was a man who, at, although he had his money illicitly, he was a very intelligent man, intelligent man. But the main thing I want to be this character for the loyalty. Family was his priority. He always fought, fought for what he wanted he was governed by rules that always keep out of jail that's it <laughs> yes and okay. and actually he was very intelligent very yes. clever and very so, intelligent. something important he was very disciplined by yes. the rules and he followed the same rules so that's why he, he was okay always but the yes. rest, and then, and then the the descendants, the Michael, the descendants, yeah, yes, that, that, that mm -hmm. kind of different, right? But he yes. has uh, like a priority His because family. doesn't continue with the rules to their father. Yeah. So, but it, it was not the same after after Vito Corleone, right? No, not the same. The same, so. Well, yes, one, one of the points. Y ahí nos enseña algo bien importante, something very important that, for example, uh, or for, extent, uh, for instance, uh, parents have accumulated money sometimes, and they have like businesses, que los padres tienen negocios, and the, the, ne the next generation, uh, well, there's, maybe they can fail. They can fail. They can fail in different things if they don't follow the rules that their parents have. So that's it. Thank you, uh, Raquel. Very good. Uh, Wilfredo and Steffi. Wilfredo, can you? Uh, I would like to be a book writer. A book writer. Un escritor de libros. Yes, yes, book writer. Okay. That's interesting. If you want to say you want to create stories, okay, that's nice. Have you ever written? Has escrito alguna vez, Wilfredo? Algo, cualquier cosa? No, no, pero me gustaría. Hola, hola. Yes. Lo siento, que alguien está hablando de mí, seguramente estoy estornudando. Se creerá. Okay, so, well, uh, it could be great. To, 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 to write stories. Thank you, Wilfredo. And Steffi, I don't know if she's ready. Then Jackie. Quiero aclarar que es la única película que he visto. ¿Cómo va a ser posible? It does not en possible. serio. Y que por mi hijo, porque a él le gusta. Eh, sería. 
Yes. Tienes hijos, Steffi. Wow. Sí, tengo un niño. <laughs> Very nice. Wow, congratulations. Okay, Steffi. A spirit. Why is indomitable? Okay, it's about a horse, a Mustang, right? I like, I love the relationship he has with the Indian boy. Very nice. Very, uh, really like it. And something important is that he didn't speak la, la, like directly. Él no habló directamente. Be interesting to see. Okay. Nice, Steffi. Uh, bien guardadito se lo tenía de su baby. Okay. Mm, Jackie. Are you there? Uh, no, Jackie. Okay. Um, okay, we continue. Recuerden, priority, prior, priority, priority. Um, well, this is something that uh, here we have. How to use good light to? Algo que teníamos de antes. Use good light to say what you want, especially when making offers or requests. O sea que vamos a usar el good like para decir eh, lo que tú quieres, especialmente cuando se hace ofertas o solicitudes. Singular, ok, uh, let's listen to Raquel, the two sentences in singular. She would like to send the report today. It's like to meet the new employees tonight. Tonight, that's it. Good. Okay, Carito, plural. They would like. Carito, estás hablando ciencia. So sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, they would like to speak to a supervisor. And. We would like to ship this container tomorrow. Yeah, that's it. Perfect pronunciation. Good. So now that we have cleared this, here we are going to review exercises. Good. Okay. Um, but let me see. Okay. Here we have this worksheet. Do you remember? Okay. Um, here we have this, right? Affirmatives. Remember. In affirmative, tenemos de esta manera, la negativa fácil, wouldn't, okay, wouldn't. Y en la, para preguntar siempre va would al inicio, okay. Now that we have cleared this, let's go to, sorry. Here I have them. Just. Okay, solo denme un par de segundos. Sorry. Okay, anyway, okay. We continue with the show. Vamos a continuar con algo que está loco. Okay. 
Imagine a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken right from four to five requests about it. ¿Cómo podemos formular estas solicitudes con respecto a algún equipo que nos está fallando? Okay, um, let me see. Yesterday we had like a conversation about um, see. Okay. For example, this. I would like to report a problem. I would like to report an issue. ¿Cómo podemos eh, decir por acá? Uh, I would like Esto es eh, bien directa. I would like you to come soon. To check it. Me gustaría que vinieras pronto a revisarla. Eso es lo que dice acá. I would like you to come soon to check it. Ok. Aquí dice I would like to report. But. Vamos a hacer. This one. Imaginemos que algo está arruinado en su trabajo. Entonces vamos a hacer I would like you to repair it. I would like you to fill it of ink. Me gustaría que llenaras de tinta o, ¿verdad? o que refilaras eh, la impresora. Será que revisaras el doctor. Something like that. Okay. Tell me at least one. Una, una solicitud que ustedes le harían a un técnico, por ejemplo, a technician, that, that's a person who is in charge of checking uh, the equipment, de revisar el equipo. Entonces, hagamos una nada más. Una solicitud que ustedes le harían a algún técnico para que le repare alguna máquina, to repair a, a machine, to repair something at the photocopy machine, the coffee maker, the, the printer, the laptop. Could be a program in a specific. Could be a what? Uh, a problem. Mm, yes. Um, a specific yes. program. Oh. It should be. Okay. Podría hacerlo, ¿verdad? Me gustaría que fuera entre más específico es mejor. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Le doy unos 15 segundos. Hey, si alguien sabe qué vamos a hacer, dígame porque me sacó esta cosa. Por favor. Una solicitud que le hicieras a un técnico, como, como que te revise algo de la computadora, el impresor. Yes. Cualquier yes. aparato que tú uses. Mm -hmm. I would like you to. Me gustaría que. Ok, thank you. I would like you to. Check que revises. Check que revises algo en específico, una máquina en específica, ok. Coffee maker, for a copy, printer. Uh, just about work. It, for example, no. my, my car. No, it, it, it could be applied for, for home, for home equipment, if you want. Mm -hmm. Para la casa, we have technicians sometimes. Ok, thank you. Can repay the internet. Thank you. Okay, let's listen to some more of you. What you got? Okay, maybe Carito, Elisa. Oh, no la terminé, teacher. I would like, I would like you to shed my car. I, I wanted to say, I, it, a funny sound, but. Ah, uh, okay. It makes. 
It makes funny, funny, funny sound. Funny sound or funny noise. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Yes. That's something well, that usually happens with the cars. Okay. Ellie and then Mardo. Okay. I would like you, I would like you to come and check the refrigerant chamber. Okay. Se like camera. 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 Se Cam escribe cámara. Cámara. Cámara se escribe y se pronuncia camera. Entonces uh, so sería camera refrigerant. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Refrigerant. Refrigerant. Okay. Refrigerant. That's it. Okay. Um, Ardo, what about you? I won't like you to come to calibrate the scale. Oh, wow. Very specific. I like that. Nice. Okay, Kenya, you go. I would like you to see the sealer empty. Oh, okay. To see the, the sealer empty. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Wilfredo, and then we go with Raquel. Uh, I would like to repair my cell phone. <laughs> okay, nice. To repair my cell phone. Okay. And uh, let's listen to Raquel. I would like to check my nitro, please. It is not opening the document. Okay, nice, very specific. Joa, and then we go with Carly. I would like you to check my bike. Okay, bike. Do you have a bike, right, Joa? Sí. Sí. Pero es de pandillera. <laughs> Qué mala. Be careful. Okay, tipo, tipo la que usaba el renegado. Okay, Carly and Edwin. I would like you to check my phone that it do not hear anything. Okay, okay, it doesn't hear anything. Edwin and Adonai. Okay. I would like you to check my printer. Nice. Adonai and William. I would like you to change the printer toner. Oh, interesting. William and Luis. Okay. I'd like you to check my refrigerator. Okay. This is not cool. Cool. Ah, okay. Cool. It, okay. Nice. Jackie and Luis, if they are ready. Jackie? No. Okay, Luis. In case uh, you're not ready, let's continue with this. Uh, here we have... Okay, here we have, like, uh, the first part of... ¿Qué pasó, I don't know where to drink it. Al de Andrus, pero ya el conchito supo como maluco. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Al de Andrus, uh, para la gastritis, para el... Ah, salandrus. Salandrus. Eso, sal... oh, al de Andrus. Yo dije, es algo colombiano. Yo, mm, ok. Sorry, teacher. No, no hay problema. Pensé que era una bebida especial, así como... No sé qué tuviese. Tuviese... Algo en específico. Ok. Read, vamos con reading. Normalmente casi no tenemos readings, but here we have. Read about printer qualities and answer the questions below. These are like um, detailed information about the printer qualities. Ok. So I'd like you to help me read them. And as always, I'm going to uh, say the parts uh, that you have to say. Ok. So uh, we're going to start here with Adonai from color, okay, to the other part. And then we go with Edwin. Color. Color, color, color is important for user who need to print page for presentation or maps and other page where color is part of the information. Okay, thank you. Okay, we go with Edwin and Ellie. Edwin? 
K color filters can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they used to ink cartridges. Palabra, no sé cartridges. 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 One color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Pages, pages, okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Ellie. User we do not have a specific need for color and will print a lot of page will find a black and white printer chapter to operate. Cheaper, mm -hmm. cheaper, cheaper to operate, okay, operate. very nice, thank you. Let's go with Luis from here. Okay, okay. Uh, to here and then Kenya. Okay, teacher, uh, resolution. Printer resolution, the sharpness of text and imaging on paper. Unusual uh, measure in that per inch. The Thank you. I. Mm -hmm. okay. Ahí está, DPI. Mm -hmm. DPI. Dots per inch, que son los puntos por eh, pulgada. Thank you. Okay, Kenya. Okay, Max. Inexpensive prints, prints, printers. Ah, printers. Prince era el, el, un cantante como Michael Jackson, pero este es okay. print. Printer, probably su, sufficient, sufficient. Yeah. sufficient resolution for most purpose. purposes. 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 Uh, six. Um, ¿Cómo es? Ya. Se me olvida. Man, 600. 600. DPI. DPI. Thank you. Okay, now let's go with uh, who else? Wilfredo and then Mardo. Okay, Wilfredo, you go until here. Speed. The speed is you. The most printing. The speed of the printer becomes important in express important in express printer print only about three to six no uh, per, per, per minute minute thank you mardo color 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 printing is a lower more expensive Printer are much, much faster. Okay, nice. Vamos entendiendo. Yes, are you getting? Okay. Ya vamos a ir, eh, ir acá por esto. Okay. Carito, I will show you until here. And after Carito, we go with eh, Carly. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte. That can be expanded by the user. By the user, that's the memory, yes. By the user. Okay, Carly. Having more. Having more time, the minimum. 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 Minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster faster when pictures printing out pages printing out pages with lay image, images images or tablet with line orange around the with the printer Treats. Treats as a large image. image. Yes, image. Esa última parte tenía palabras un poco más, más, más técnicas. Mm -hmm. Ok, let's see. Uh, I want to notice some of the words that I listened. Um, search. Díganme qué tienen estas palabras en común.
DS. Yes, DS at the end. Entonces, necesito que eh, hay que poner atención, ¿verdad? Y aquí hay bastantes, varias, varias que, que, por ejemplo, esta. Estas. La letra S es importante porque si no eh, tenemos dificultades con la concordancia entre eh, el sujeto y el objeto. Users. Users. Y eh, normalmente, eh, we as, uh, normally we as uh, Spanish speakers, we have problems with the S at the end when we have a consonant before. A consonante antes y después una S. We in Spanish, we don't have that in Spanish words. All the words that, uh, well, the most words that uh, end with S at the end, they have a vowel before. Todas lo las palabras en español que tienen una S al final tienen una vocal antes de la S. ¿Verdad? Chorros, eh, hombres, mujeres, zapatos, lo whatever. No tenemos este, este sonido de una consonante y una S. ¿Verdad? No decimos televisión, decimos televisiones. ¿Verdad? So, that's why, uh, that's something la, la, like kind of difficult, igual que acá. No tenemos una, uh, una S y una consonante unida, ¿verdad? Eh, no, por ejemplo, eh, ¿qué? Saltar, uh, ¿qué? Sarampión, todo. Lleva una S y una vocal, pero no lleva una S y una consonante. Igual al final, no lleva una S y una consonante antes. Al iniciar y al finalizar las palabras no tenemos nada de eso en español. Por eso nos cuesta, por eso, that's why we say school. We say student, porque no tenemos eso. No tenemos, that's, eh, por eso decimos school, student, no decimos school, student, cuando estamos aprendiendo al inicio en inglés. Y de igual manera, de igual manera, uh, pues, eh, lo que es uh, la S al final, users. Page, eh, como el guitarrista de la Zeppelin, Jimmy Page, Jimmy Página, Jaime Página. So, Jimmy Page, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos aquí Pages, Pages. No tenga miedo de pronunciar eh, la, la S al final, Pages. Tenemos Presentations, no, pre no Presentation, Presentations, ¿verdad? Maps, Pages, Printers, Cartridges. Esa sí estaba difícil, Cartridges. Purposes. Cuando decimos purpose, eh, purpose es un propósito. Purposes. Becomes. Ok. A ver si les traigo uh, una, un listado de palabras así como. Fíjense, porque considero, I consider that your pronunciation is really good. Su pronunciación es muy buena. Créanme, me gusta mucho. But there are some letters that we have to reinforce. Tenemos que reforzar unas cuantas letras. Okay, now that we started uh, this text, we have five questions, okay? So uh, I'm going to select some of you to help me. Okay, um, we start with Carito and then we go with William. Okay, Carito, pick one of these. Pregunta con respecto al uh, related to the text. Mm -hmm. Why are color printers more expensive? Okay, why are color printers more expensive? I have no idea. Okay. To operate since they used to ink car cartridge, one color and cartridges. cartridges. That need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that, that could be one. Mm -hmm. Color printers are more expensive to operate. Porque utilizan mm -hmm, just two ink. Ink significa tinta. Como una canción de Coldplay que se llama ink. Okay, ink cartridges. 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 So that's why they are more expensive because they need like another cartridges. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Carito. So that's uh, what that that's number what? Three. Uh, William, 
And then we go with uh, Luis. Uh, why is color important for some users? Okay, why is color important for some users? Mm -hmm. What is? Uh, let me see. Mm, bueno, no alcanzo a ver si dice solamente black and white. Uh -uh. Color is important for users who need. Ah, and okay. quien yeah. necesitan. Aquí te la estaba. Yes. Son... Sí, 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 sí. Come on. <laughs> Ajá. Who need to print? Yes. Need to print? Uh, pages. Page, pages for presentations or maps and other pages. Pages. Yes. Pages. Pages. Oh, okay. <laughs> pages. Yeah. Uh -huh. pages. Where color is part of the information. Imagínense unos Where planos. Color. Yes, a kind of maps or something with, without color. And the architects, they need that. The engineers, they need it. So that's why it's important. Thank you, William. Very good. So now here we have uh, uh, four and one. Okay, two, four, and five. Luis, and then Elisa. Two, no. four, five. Uh, four. Okay. Uh, what is something important for someone who prints a lot? Okay. Someone who prints a lot. Something important for someone who prints a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I can check a picture. No, no, come on, come on, come on. Look at this. If you do much printing, hmm? si hace muchas impresiones, yes. si hace mucho de la impresión, the speed, the speed of the printer becomes important. Yes, becomes important. Aquí, import, important. Important. Yes, mm -hmm. inexpensive. By expensive, inexpensive significa barato. Como la canción de okay. okay, so expensive, but inexpensive significa que no es, perdón, eh, no es caro, perdón, expensive, ya estoy morado. Okay, chip, barato, expensive, caro. Okay, entonces, eh, inexpensive es que, que es barato. Hmm? Only eh, about three or, or six sheets per minute. Three or six sheets per minute. Can you imagine? Son pocas, right? So that's why. ¿Qué es lo importante acá? Es the definite. Speed. The yeah. speed. Porque speed. si tú imprimes mucho, necesitas velocidad. Okay. So thank you, uh, Luis. Okay. 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 Uh, Ellie, two or five. And after Ellie, we're going to have Adonai. Uh, five. Five. What is the amount? What is the amount of memory that most printers can white? Um, with. With. Con with. Okay. What is the, the, the memory? Tell me, Ellie. Memory. Mm -hmm. uh, most printers can with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte. That's it. Ahí está la respuesta. One, One megabyte. megabyte. So that's that's a, a brief, that's very few. Es muy poca información, right? Eh, perdón, poca memoria. So that's why it's, they can, uh, the printers uh, don't have too much memory for a long, long documents. Okay, Adonai, number two, what does? What does the P stand for? DPI. At 600 DP. Ajá. Vaya. Cuando decimos stand for, eh, es como que, ¿qué significa DPI? Es cuando tenemos siglas o abreviaciones. ¿Mm? What okay. does DPI stand for? Mm -hmm. What do you think? The sharpness of test and images of paper. Mm -hmm. 
Perú. DPI, o sea que DPI significa cada letra significa una palabra. In the most inexpensive printer provider. In dot per inch. Dots. That's that, per inch. Mm -hmm. Puntos in por per inch. pulgada. Ok, that's it. Okay. Ahora, cuando decimos esto. What does DPI stand for? Le voy a poner otro ejemplo. Uh, what does... Any idea what does AA stand for? ¿Alguna idea qué significa AA? Okay. Alcohólicos anónimos. That's it. Alcohólicos anónimos. Yes. Why not? Bienvenidas. Ok. Ahora tenemos otros ejemplos. ¿Qué otros ejemplos? ¿Qué otras palabras tenemos abreviadas? Human resource, por ejemplo. Ah, ok. Oh. Yes. What does HHRR stand for? ¿Qué significa esas palabras? Ah, human resources, recursos humanos. Pueden preguntar con SADCB. Sociedad Anónima de Capital Variable. Um, AC. I'm sorry. AC. AC, Air Conditioner. Right. Uh, what else? ¿Qué más? ¿Otras siglas? ¿Otros -A -A? A -A. Compañía. Sí. Uh -huh. CIA. Compañía. Like this. Ah, sí. A, A, A. I'm sorry, sí. Uh -huh. eh, for, for some businesses, algunas firmas, some firms, right? Exa eh, eh, example, example, Gibson and, and compañía. En compañía. Sí. Gibson. Very good example, Mardo. Yes, that's it. And there are a lot of... ATM. ATM. Okay. What, what, any other? WTC. WTC. T. No, TC. TC. World Presenter. Okay. Well, very interesting. Yeah, that's it. So, um, so can you see? It is not uh, so, so difficult, right? Okay, my friends, let's continue. Wow. This is a very interesting question. Is the corn called parole punishment? Punish, como la serie. La serie Punisher. Really good series. Like it. So the Punisher is el castigador, verdad? The marble. Good. But punish, castigo, castigo. And if we si say punishment, uh, pardon, punish is castigar and punishment is castigo. So, uh, is the corporal punishment necessary to rise? To rise, rise is crear. Es para crear, crear niños at home. Okay. So you tell me what do you think about this? If you think yes, it is necessary, it is important, it is so fundamental, or You can say, well, currently not, actually not, maybe in the past, not in the present. Tell me your ideas about this. And what about if we listen to, let me see. Okay, we're going to start with Raquel. Que se me está haciendo la de mis fans. Okay, Raquel. Ajá. Come on. Yo porque... Para que te traigas. Pero no hay una respuesta. Es, es, par, es parte de, del show. Carito sabe. Es distracción se le llama. O sea que soy un show. Es Bonito. todo es un show. Ok. Ok. 
Yes, I think that in some cases, physical punishment is necessary. Society sees, sees it badly, but correcting a child, child is better than incorporating a criminal into the society. Okay. It's my opinion. Okay, well, good opinion. Society, como una canción que tiene Ed Vedder con Johnny Depp, busquen en YouTube. Very good, Society. Nice, nice song. So, um, well, uh, Raquel says that it is a better to correct before they become criminals. Okay, very good point. Now let's listen to Carly and then Steffi. Que no sabía que tenía hijos. Así que ahora nos va a dar una gran inspiración. She's going to explain a lot. Okay, Carly, what about you? What do you think? Yes. Okay. Cool. For little kids, it's not too necessary because they don't have no understanding. But uh, in the adolescent, in some cases, it's too necessary to talk with them on the corporal punish, punishment without it's a you edited good that with that okay okay so you say that when they are babies or were they very young not necessarily but maybe for some adolescents some teenagers okay para okay. los chiquititos pienso yo que no en solamente indicarles Pero ya para los adolescentes, una vez que se le digan, no entienden, segunda vez no entienden, yes. ya pienso okay. yo. Well, that's it. And remember that one characteristic of adolescents or teenagers is that they are rebellious. They always say the contrary, right? That's part of the nature. Yeah, that's why. Recuerden cuando eran jóvenes ustedes. Remember the, all the things that you did, todas las cosas que hicieron. Ah, the nice idea. Yes, yes, I know. You know. I know that you know. Okay, Steffi. And after Steffi, we go with Marta. It is not necessary. There are other ways. There are other ways. For example. Bueno, mi hijo como está chiquitito, tiene seis años, yo lo que hago es que no le presto el celular y le digo que si lo vuelve a hacer, nunca le voy a volver a prestar mi celular. <laughs> ok, and it works, y funciona. Y funciona. Ok, mira cómo lo tenés. Ok, but I hope uh, he can enjoy, he enjoys playing with the cell phone and with some other activities, of course, it is important. Okay, thank you, Steffi. Mm, what if Mardo and then Adonai? Uh, well, if Mardo is not ready, let's go with Adonai and then Joel. Okay, teacher, my opinion. I think that first you should explain the reasons with, uh, with why it should be corrected. Then give good advice, and if it is worth it this time, if it is this, okay, to apply the stick, not always, better you should from time to time, but it is necessary depending on the problem. Okay, depending on the, yeah, there are some limits, right? Okay, very good. Hey, give always good advice. Thank you. Um, se refirma que toma. Okay, uh, Joa, and then we go with David. Okay. Mm, bueno. <laughs> Agárrense. Yes, maybe mm. don't like the punishment of the four. Which we wish we are on us. But I, from time to time, is good to standing a couple of time to lead. They know they say should be high. Well, of course, uh, dialogue and truth with your child must come first. 
to be the ideal personality. And personally, my mother was very strict at me. Me quebraba las cajerolas en la cabeza. Really? <laughs> really? Yes. Uh, and my childhood, while my children, I know can exaggerate. Okay, no exaggerate. Okay. Uh, very uh, good words. Behave, comportarse, dialogue. It is important to establish a dialogue always. But as uh, Joa says, uh, dialogue, uh, well, does not always work. Okay? So that's no simple function. Okay, no. let's. Okay, yes. Well, uh, Carito, and then we go with um, William. Okay, I do not agree with the strength corporal punishment to educate children, but I consider that if your child disrespects you or raises his hand to you, you should set a limit. Okay. You set, you set. set. Tú tienes, tienes que, pues, establecer, establish, set. Limits. Okay. And yeah, yeah. I, I, I think in this case, for example, your your child, I don't know how do you say. Se pega, te, te levanta la mano. The 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 dial, the dialogue is not okay. enough. Okay. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> like, if uh, if he yes. He goes against you. Si se va en contra de ti. Okay, verbally or physically, because uh, if you don't set or establish limits, that's something yeah. really dangerous. Maybe not when they are uh, kids, but when they are adolescents. When they grow up. They yeah. grow and they yeah. feel that they have, they, that Control, they are strong, they, they, sienten yeah. fuertes, they feel strong. They feel that they can, that they can stand your punishment. Pueden soportar tu tu cualquier tipo de castigo. They say, okay, I'm not a kid anymore. I'm so niño. So, and that's when the things get uh, really bad. Okay. Uh, thank you, Carito. Did you receive corporal punishment when you were a kid? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pónganme un pulgar thumb up. Un pulgar de emoji. ¿Quiénes recibieron corporal punishment when you were a kid? Okay. Yeah, don't have to see <laughs> ok, yes. Vamos a ver quién no recibió. Ustedes todos pónganlo. Vamos a ver lo, lo que sí recibieron. En Colombia, they call Ferrero. Ferrero. Okay. Ferrero. It's, it's like a tiritas de cuero, como con las que les dan al caballo. Correas. Se le podría llamar acá, creo, ¿verdad? ¿No? I don't know. ¿Qué? Cincho. Ah, ah sí, algo, algo así. Ok. We're going to talk about uh, different types of uh, corporal punishment. That's going to get very funny. Ya se va a poner interesante esto. Ok. So, well, uh, the only ones that didn't put thumb up, lo que no pusieron por acá arriba fue Gabriel, Steffi, Carly. Yo sí lo puse. De Ese, I'm sorry, todavía te duele, ¿verdad? Ah, Wilfredo. Sí, hoy lo puse. Carly, tú también. Me hizo recordar. Sí. ¿Qué andaban haciendo? Ok. What did you do? Mejor solo acuérdense. Yo Ahí como fui, fui importada. No. Ah, ok, really. No. Calmate, sí. ventarrón. No, okay. yo cuando miraba el cincho de chiquita, sí salía sí. corriendo. Porque me reventaban y me sangraban. Ah, no, a mí no. Sí. Yo decía, no me duele, no me duele, no me duele. Pero más fuerte no. te daba. Sí, pero no lloraba. ¿Saben oh. qué es lo más, lo más triste? Es tener una versión chiquita tuya <risa> y que Ahí te la... veas reflejado. Ya lo pasé. Ay, no, qué horror. Ahí la estás pagando. Se llama karma. Sorry, you have a lot of... Tiene mucha deuda en su... Ahí, salto de deuda, tiene. Yo okay. por eso me portaba bien para no dañar el, al futuro. Ok, de karma. Ok. 
Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Ya vamos a hablar de eso. We're going to have uh, like time for, for talking about that. Okay. <laughs> and who who's okay? What if we listen to Adonai? No, ready. Wilfredo. Uh, Wilfredo, are you ready? No. Okay. Uh, uh, it's teacher. It's, Ah, William, William, right? And Wilfredo. Okay, first we go with William. Okay. Um, I consider that if if it is necessary at some point in life not to go to the extreme, but with control, uh, deserve punishment. Okay. At one, at certain point, Mr. William, hay un punto in which maybe it can be needed, in que tal vez puede ser necesario. Maybe, okay. So nice point and nice opinion, William. Wilfredo, que todavía se está sobando, se recuerda dice, okay, Wilfredo, tell us. It is not, it is not necessary to punish children, while wrong, use verbal punishments and su suspending some time that they like to do the mouse. Okay, suspend. It's a word that Steffi used to suspend the use of cell phone, to, to suspend uh, Wi-Fi, television, going out to play with friends. There are some, some alternatives that you can use for some kids, because there are some other mini versions of you, like Joa says, Imagino la versión de, de Joa ahí. La TV de Joa, I'm so sorry for you. Pero también tiene muchas virtudes. Sé que tiene virtudes. Eh. Solo les voy, a, les voy a comentar algo, Epis. Que 14 años que tengo, casi 15 años de, de ser docente. Um, the kids that are tremendous or hyperactive, chicos que son tremendos o hiperactivos, um, usually they are good leaders. Usualmente son buenos líderes. Si tú les, eh, if you assign some, du uh, some duties, si les asignan algunas, ¿qué? Eh, algunos deberes, pero no deberes como trabajo, sino deberes como que ellos se sientan parte de, importante, como que uno depende de ciertas cosas de ellos, o que ellos lideren, eh, Normally it works. Normalmente a mí me ha funcionado. Eh, entonces estos chicos tienen como cierto tipo de a, a, a características los cuales hay que aprovecharlos. Hay que gastar las energías que tienen. But you have to, if you have to, eh, well, they have to take some courses of sports mainly. Más que todo cursos de deporte. Les sugiero. Gasten las energías para que ellos solo lleguen a dormirse. They go to sleep very early. Porque si están sentados, ellos están acumulando esa energía cinética que ellos necesitan sacarla. There are a lot of things. Algunos de esos chicos también son buenos para debatir. Para oratoria. Wow. They, they have qualities. Unfortunately, sometimes we only see bad aspects. A veces nosotros tenemos aspectos negativos. Kids are really amazing. Ya, yeah, yo no que de verdad. <laughs> it's really tremendous but que cuesta pero no it is like most of them me atrevería a decir que de todos los chicos quizás 98 99% tienen características que ustedes deben de explotarlas believe it ya he trabajado con varios niños mm, a lot kids ok we're going to talk about uh, this later después les voy a dar asesoría ah, quieren ya, ya vamos a hablar sobre sus experiencias Okay, we go to the listening part, my friends. Um, um, see, okay. Uh, be ready with the pen, the pencil, please.
Ok, ready? Vamos. My mother's speech. Our mothers are the reason for our existence. I'm sorry, again. So sorry. My mother's speech. Our mothers are the reason for our existences. Mothers are God's gift to humanity. All mothers love their children selflessly. There is nothing as pure as a mother's love for the child. My mother is my role mother. All mothers are strong since they have carried us for nine months in their womb. Mothers always want what is best for her children. All people who have a mother are lucky. Okay, let's listen again. My mother's speech. Our mothers are the reason for our existences. Mothers are God's gift to humanity. All mothers love their children selflessly. There is nothing as pure as a mother's love for the child. My mother is my role mother. All mothers are strong since they have carried us for nine months in their womb. Mothers always want what is best for her children. All people who have a mother are lucky. Okay, very nice. You tell me what are the words, ideas, phrases, vocabulary that you could hear. Uh huh. Volunteers. Okay. Um, Carito and well, Raquel, Carito, Carito, Raquel, William, and Lisa. Siento que como con las manos me les pegaban a ustedes. Hey, Carito, you go. Ok. Eh, mother speech or mother are the reason or of existence, humanity. Mother love the children or mother are strong. Uh, nine months, all people to have a mother is lucky. Eh, best for her children. Nothing superior. Mm -hmm. Very nice and interesting. William. Salud. Okay, William and then Alyssa. Hey. Okay. Um, bueno, yo alcancé media a entender la conversación. Fueron yes. pocas las frases que agarré, pero sí entendí lo, no lo que entender. Systems is nothing for the child. Model is other one, our mothers. Okay, interesting. Good one. Elisa and Kenya, right? Okay. Uh, my mother's speech or our mother kid children. My mother is my room. Mother is correction. Uh, looking. Good. Nice. Very well. Kenya. Mm -hmm. Okay. My mother's speech. Her mother are the reasons. I think <laughs> For the, the uh -huh, the reason for the share okay, uh, in the one or mother of people. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's the way. And do we have any other words? My dear friend. No more tears, no more words. Okay. Um, I want to present the Uh, this version. Okay, so let's listen. My mother's speech. Our mothers are the reason for our existences. Mothers are God's gift to humanity. All mothers love their children selflessly. There is nothing as pure as a mother's love for the child. My mother is my role mother. All mothers are strong since they have carried us for nine months in their womb. Mothers always want what is best for her children. All people who have a mother are lucky. Okay, uh, personally, I like... Uh, 
I like a lot this short speech. And specifically, something that caught my eye is this. All mothers love their children selflessly. Self is uh, egoista. Selfless is lo opuesto de egoísta. Desinteresado. Desinteresada. Mente. Okay. So that's just obviously we have exceptions, right? Similar to fathers. It is common that fathers are not so lovely, but we have a lot of good exceptions. A lot of men that who are good fathers, right? Um, in this case, um, I guess you, it is easy, okay? This vocabulary is easy, right? Gift es regalo. Gift es un regalo y puede ser tomado como metafórico. Cuando dicen present, es un regalo de cumpleaños. Here I have, here you have your present, que tienes tu regalo. But when you say gift, puede ser un don, puede ser eh, un, algo que, eh, que te ha sido dado por la vida, por Dios. So that's like a metaphorical meaning. Okay? So I guess it, that's very, very interesting. Yes, okay. Um, let's continue with, we have just 19 minutes. Tranquilo, hombre, ya vamos a hablar de sin chaseado. But something important, say versus tell, okay? And these are like very similar verbs, okay? Say significa decir, y tell significa contar, pero no contar del one, two, three, four, no. It's to tell a secret, to, to tell uh, something that is happening, contar algo que te está pasando, okay? Eh, decir y contar, que como cuéntame y contame, es el chamo, okay? So, o dime. Okay, so here we have like some uh, differences. Uh, here we have Gabriel. Hello, good evening, Gabriel. Ya estamos otra vez aquí activated. Okay. Okay, yeah. good evening, teacher. Help me with this part, okay? You say some. You, you say, say something, something to someone. To some. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Someone. Tú dices. Helen. Tú dices algo a alguien. Mm -hmm. Algo a alguien. Ok. Helen said. Helen said, I love you to her dad. Dad. Rag says. Rag says, Dias, a New York. Uh -huh. I said. I said that it was sorry. Ok. Uh, so, thank you, Gabriel. Cuando decimos, eh, say es un verbo irregular. Cuando lo utilizamos en el pasado, se escribe said, pero se pronuncia sed, como si tengo sed. Ok, tengo sed. Necesito un fresco, bien frío. Ok, so that's it. Um, cuando utilizamos la otra forma en tercera persona, que le agregamos S, no decimos seis, decimos ses. Como Moisés, pero sin el moi. Ok, ses, ses. Ok, so... Helen said, fíjense el uso de, de say. Helen said, I love you to her dad. Helen dijo, te amo a su papá. Lleva eh, columns, lleva, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, comillas, porque es, es una cita. Es como está citando. Helen dijo, te amo a, tu, a, a su papá. Luego, Raj says, he has a new job. Raj, dice, Raj suena bien musulmán, okay, algo así. Ra o oh, no sé cómo. Creo. Rag dice que él tiene un nuevo trabajo. Y lo último, I said, yo dije, I said that, ahí, ahí se utiliza el that, yo dije que lo sentía. I was sorry, porque I am sorry, es, lo siento, I was sorry que lo sentía. Okay, so that's it. And now we go with, um, we go with the next part. And for this one, I will need. Ellie, you tell someone. You tell someone sometime. Some, something, something. Something. Helen to her dad that she loved him. Raj told me that he has a new job. I told 
you kid that I was sorry. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Ellie. Uh, Helen told her that that she loved him. Mm -hmm. Helen le dijo a su papá que lo amaba. Brad told me that he has a new job. Eh, él me dijo que, ¿verdad? Él tiene un nuevo trabajo. I told Yuki that I was sorry. Le dije a Yuki que estaba, uh, que lo sentía. Ahora, la clave. To someone, say to someone, le dices a, a alguien algo específico. Pero aquí es cuando vas a contar algo. Prácticamente, tell es cuando vas a contar una anécdota, anecdote, a story, a secret. ¿Ok? Y say is when you're going to say words like, cuando vas a decir, ok, say yes, please. Cuando sus hijos le dicen, mami, mami, say yes, please. Mamá, di que sí, di que sí. ¿Verdad? En cambio, tell es cuando ustedes van. A veces yo les he dicho, ok, carito, tell me. Cuéntame. Right? So that's it. Let's continue. Ya tenemos más ejemplos. Ok, eh, carito, exception. Tenemos ejemplos aquí. Ok. Exception. Tell plus joke story like truth. Ok. He, He told. told a joke. She tells good stories. They told they told a lie. I always tell the truth. Ok, nice. Entonces, hay, como les decía, hay ciertas excepciones, porque tell se utiliza para, hey, contar un chiste, pero tell a joke, ¿ok? Eh, tell a story, tell a lie, di una mentira, con la de sus ex, ¿ok? Tell the truth, di la verdad, ¿ok? He told a joke, él dijo un chiste. She tells good stories, ella dice buenas, eh, buenas historias, buenas historias. They told a lie, ellos dijeron una mentira, esta okay? I always tell the truth, aquí está el teacher. I always tell you. Okay, that's nice. And let's see. Ah. Um, something. Sorry. <coughs> something is una canción de The Beatles. Buenísima recomendada. Um, it's another word. Something, something. Está someone like, like you. Someone yeah, like Adele. Adele. Adele, yes, someone like you. Really good. It's a ballad. Es una balada. Es casi yeah. que a capela. Casi que a capela. Really good. Ok, entonces en esas, en esas, es lo que les decía, ¿verdad? Que en las canciones están muchas de las palabras que aquí usamos. And that's it. Ah, cuando decimos esta. Uh, tell. Tell me why. Tell me why. Que hay una canción de los Backstreet Boys, si no me equivoco. Okay. Sí, dice Kenny. Una vez la dedicaron a alguien que yo conozco, a un amigo de un amigo. So that's it. Okay, right. And, and we can check a lot of words in sounds. Okay, let's continue. Um, tenemos estas. I have these exercises, pero vamos a seguir con esto para terminar. We're going to finish this topic, and then we we'll go to the exercises. Okay. And let's see if we can finish them. Y vamos a ver si lo podemos terminar. Is a corporal punishment necessary to raise kids at home? Okay. And good. So, aquí tenemos unas palabras que, que después es, considero que son, uh, they are really important. Okay. So to continue with, with this topic, uh, Kenya, and then Luis. Okay, Kenya. Okay, teacher. My opinion is no, because it's from a young age, they are told in words what they can or cannot do, the children, Understand, understand. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. You can make him or make her understand by words or by other means or otros medios. Um, okay, thank you. Luis, you go. And after okay. Luis, we go with Marto. Okay, teacher, uh, I consider it is important that in the family rules must be established so as not to reach the points of corporal punishment. Okay. 
okay, establish, set the rules, okay, son eh, palabras que ustedes han estado diciendo, okay, thank you, Mardo, what about you? Okay, teacher, the Bible is saying, the Bible says, mm -hmm. uh -huh, said. says, says, mm -hmm. On the other hand, we have our early parents who disciplined youth and we revered them while we we not obey the father of spirits much better and live every uh, 12 night okay interesting it is like uh well it's a, like a chapter oh, that refers to obedience se refiere a la obediencia a la corrección all those things and pues si como dice pues es it's a uh, se lo puedo decir en español okay duty yes por, por otra parte tuvimos nuestros padres terrenales que nos disciplinaban y los venerábamos. ¿Por qué no obedeceremos mucho mejor al Padre de los Espíritus y viviremos? Hebreo 12.9. Interesting. Why not? Padres terrenales. So, yeah, the, the terrenal parents have like a duty, tienen un deber, right? That is the race and correct. Se debe de corregir. Okay, so that's it. Y es bien claro también en la Biblia. So thank you, um, Mardo. We got to finish this, uh, Eli. You go. And Gabriel. Is the corporal punishment necessary to raise kids at home? Punishment, yes. I wish, no. As, as long as the dialogue or advice is exhausted, and I depends on the age, reason, and char character of the child. Okay, yes, yeah, it's like uh, the character, right, uh, of the child. But yes, thank you, Elisa. Um, you received por uh, corporal punishment, right, Eli? Recibiste, verdad? Castigo corporal. Mucho, y mucho. Ya no, ya vamos a hablar así. <laughs> thank you. Okay, what about Gabriel and Edwin? Ready, Gabriel? Okay, okay. No. In, in my opinion, there are different way non-corporal uh, punishment, but if you set limit, limit. Okay, you set limits. Yeah. Thank you, hey, Gabriel. Okay, Edwin and Carlos. Okay, I believe that corporal punishment is not necess necessary if it can, can be done in other ways, for example, be depriving them of the thing they like, establishing rules and always abusing them. Okay, very nice. There are other ways, alternatives. Okay, uh, Carlos, are you ready with your answer? Yes, teacher. Please, go ahead. It is not necessary because they can be everything, everything from and you and jogging, I get good when they grow to hook and become you, the soul be punished to education team I be respectful of socially. Okay, yes, it is not necessary, says Carlos. Okay, uh, voy a put acá. I need to take a look at this. Donde está lo amarillo es la fuerza de voz, o sea, es un acento acento diacrítico, no es que lleva la tilde ahí, pero todas las palabras tienen su acento, o sea, su fuerza de voz. Necessary. 
necessary, important. Porque he escuchado que dicen import, import. Comparación en español, import. There's important, necessary. Important. Okay. Here we have some uh, words. The last resort, okay, is como el último recurso, violence, stages. Eso significa etapas. Stages, stages, okay. Correct, it works, funciona. Not allow is no permitir. Tantrum, son las rabietas. That's something really, really disgusting kids. The tantrums are for kids that they uh, they receive a lot of attention, uh, they receive whatever they want cuando ellos se les da todo lo que pidan. So they consider maybe in the in their in, in their inner part, ¿verdad? Internamente, internally they consider that they deserve everything. Ellos merecen todo. So if they don't have it, they have like a they are a way to convince. Tienen una manera de convencer y son las rabietas. So that's it. Bueno, una de las razones. Ban es eh, eliminar. Forbid es prohibir. And then here we have says, obey, duty. Okay, necessary. Okay, that's it. And vamos a, we're going to continue tomorrow with, uh, with the exercises. But write in the chat. Escriban en el chat con qué los castigaron físicamente. ¿Qué escriban en el chat? Pero no en el chat de WhatsApp, en el chat de Zoom. Escriban el objeto con el que les pegaron. Uh, it can be one time, two times, okay, once, twice, three times, I don't know. Ok, perreo, dice Eric. Tranquila, perreo. Ah, perreo. It's belt. Um, no. Pero es de cuero. Yeah. Eh... My mom used to have un perrero, son dos tiritas de cuero. Ah, ya sé, for, like so, for the horses, como para los caballos. Sí, yeah, exactamente, como con los que les pegan a los caballos, pero esta era diseñada específicamente para mi hermana y para mí. De verdad. Okay. Yeah. Wow, a personalized. Uh, uh, obviously no me daban como a rata en balde tampoco, pues, pero... pero... Aprendimos a portarnos bien. Uh, nos metíamos en el río, nos tirábamos de la loma y llegábamos con los calzones todos anaranjados. Hacíamos fiestas en la casa con el dinero de la semana. Come on, Karen. Ok, let's Things see. like that. Ok, nice. Uh, with the flip-flop. Con la chancla, dice Donna. Yeah, uh, that's very common. I don't know how how the the moms they develop very good charger. Como que después tienen una puntería cosa seria, right? That's it. Aquí aquí en el Salvador usan la verbena para darle a uno. What is verbena? I, I don't get it. Verbena, verbena. is is a, is a plant. Es una planta, pero eh, la ramita tiene como un montón de Ah, como, como, como callitos. No sé, pero como, pringa, sí. pringa bien bueno. Ah, no, con lo que a mí me, me pegaron fue con la de, la de morro. La de morro esa, porque no se quiebra. Eso de la verbena me suena para debilitar los vampiros. Ok, maybe. Wow, lazo mojado. Yes, yes. No, oh. Criminal. Sí. Yes, I know. Cinta métrica. métrica. <laughs> Ganchos palo para de ropa cabo. de madera. De madera. Mm. Cincho, palo, correa con un palo de guayaba. Ay, Oscar. What did you do? ¿Qué hacía? Uh -huh. sí, el, el de guayaba es otro. El de guayaba es otro. ¿eh? Cincho de cuero. Que me encontraba primero. Yes. It's when you do something. <laughs> y las mamás empiezan a ver así. ¿Qué? ¿Qué agarro para ti? palo de café, eh, con lo que hay en el momento. Y es, Gabriel, sí, lo que hay en el momento es, es improvisan las cosas. Hacían con lo que hay en el momento. I'm sorry, Ay, Kenia, tú sufrías. Leather belt. Uh -huh. Leather belt, cincho de cuero. Mi hermana la que me tiraba hasta los carros y una vez me desangró la nariz. Te debe pista. Sí. 
Sale en la espalda, palo en el forro. Where is wow, sale, wow. La, sale en la espalda? Ok, Carlita, sale en la espalda. Eso lo viví con mi hermano mayor y mi hermana mayor. Porque peleaban. Sí, los dos se agarraron, mi hermano y mi hermana. Y mi mamá lo que hizo es insertarlos en el cuarto, llevar la bolsita de sal y echarle sal y que los lamiera uno con el otro. Para hacer Eso me trajo un recuerdo. <risa> horrible, horrible. Carito, tranquila. Please. Horrible. Ok. Yes. Eso me trajo un recuerdo que había en ocasiones, un par de veces mi papá me hincaba y él tenía una silla de hierro y tenía que sujetarla sobre mi cabeza y no bajar el, los brazos porque si no era un cinchazo seguro. Wow, yes, uh, what, what a hard. Mm. Qué agresividad. Me hincaban en maicío por un largo, yes, that's very common. Yes. Ok, mm. uh, my friends, uh, recordarles, antes para terminar, ya pasé lista con lo que ustedes estaban haciendo el audio. Eh, dando sus opiniones. Con el eh, chancletazo. Con el chancletazo que les dieron, que creo que se lo merecían. Algunos de ustedes, otros no. no Bien hagan merecido, la eso sí. Nah. No hagan la encuesta. Um, terminen, please, please, terminen la unidad 4, unit 4, y hagan el examen ahora, mañana, porque el viernes ya estén free, ¿verdad? Y espero que pasen dulces sueños, sueñen con los chancletazos y con lo que les pagaban. Okay. No, gracias. Okay. So, that's it. Eh, so, see you tomorrow. So, nos quedan dos clases. Ok. So, have a good night, my friends. See good you. night, everyone. Bye, good bye. Good night. Good night, people. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, my friends. See you. Adiós. Adiós, chiquitín. Good night. Good night. Well, unfortunately, a, a student who was supposed to be here in the 10 minute session um, is not available to be here. So I'm going to review like in a brief the class that we started this time. The topic is how to use school for polite and formal quests. Class number 18. As a feedback to begin the class, and uh, we review a conversation about the use of would and would like. So conversation three says, where would you like to live in the future? I'd like to live in the country. What would you do? I'd have a farm. That would be fun. Yeah, I want to plant my own food. Conversation four says, 
What would you like to drink? I like a nice tea, please. Do you want sugar with that? No, but I like some lemon. Would you like a straw? No, thanks. Then we had this a uh, brief review of how to use good like to use good like to say what you want, especially when making offers and requests. How some sentences in singular and plural. She would like to send the reports today, or he'd like to meet new employees tonight. Plural form says, they would like to speak to supervisor, or would like to ship this container tomorrow. Then here we have a reading text about color printer qualities. It says, color is important for users who need the print pages for presentation or maths and other pages. Where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in the black and white. Printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color, uh, one color and one uh, black ink, that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have specific need for color print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Solution. Printer resolution, the sharpness of the text in the images paper is usually measured in dots per inch in the eye. These inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 dpi speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Expensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. Expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory, for example, megabytes, that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful in faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image.